All right. I do want to ask you about something else. Uh, he's also made a lot of crude comments lately uh, talking about the uh, golfer uh, Arnold Palmer, uh, talking about uh, Arnold Palmer's genitalia. Is this the way a president should speak? Jim, with all due respect to the question that you just asked me, none of that matters to what the American people are going to deal with in 13 days, in 14 days, excuse me. Because over the next 14 days, voters are going to decide, do they want a president who's actually going to have a sound economy where prices are under control? Do they want a president who's going to secure our southern border and, and hold for this one? so that young girls are not raped by the drug cartels in the journey to our southern border. Because that's what's happening right now, Jim. You have young girls who are being victimized by the coyotes and by the drug cartels simply because Kamala Harris and Joe Biden could not do the right thing, which is to secure our yeah. southern border. So if you want to talk about a story he told about Arnold Palmer or the fact that well, young girls are being sold into sex slavery today because of Kamala Harris's wide open borders, I will tell you, Give me a story about Arnold Palmer, but secure the country and save these young girls from being victimized by the drug cartels because Kamala Harris doesn't care yeah, about but, that. She's okay. not lifted a finger to secure our southern but, border. And so where are the stories? I where guess are my the question, though, Congressman, young yeah, girls uh, who are given plan B, who are put on birth control because they're being trafficked into the United States by weak border policy. That are, that's the issue that the American people are having to deal with right now, well, not yeah. his story about Arnold Palmer. But doesn't it, I guess my question is, the, the larger question is, when you have a president, a former president, somebody who's running for president, talking about uh, Democrats as being the enemy from within, uh, when he's making lewd comments about uh, professional golfers, uh, doesn't a candidate's character matter? Does, does Donald Trump have the character, in your view, to be the president of the United States? Well, let's, let's examine that. First of all, I will say, yes, he does. You know why? Because he's been president. And the country was better off when he was president. The world was actually safe when he was president, where there were no new wars when he was president. So he did a very good job. The American people remember that. But let's compare that to his opponent, Kamala Harris. She's running around the country telling the American people that these rich people need to all pay their fair share meet in taxes. Meanwhile, her boss, Joe Biden, his son is a tax evader. So she's going to try to lecture the American people about paying their fair share, but she didn't say a word when Hunter Biden was evading taxes. What does that say about character, Jim? I'll ask you that question. Because it's about what you do when you're in office. It's about the policies you pursue. It's about how effective they are in the lives of the American people. And yes, it is about keeping our troops safe and not being the last person in the room when Joe Biden signed off on the most disastrous withdrawal in the history of our country. We lost 13 soldiers. And by the way, <clears throat> let's talk about Kamala Harris's character. She wasn't even there at the dignified transfer when those 13 soldiers came home. She wasn't there, and Joe Biden was busy checking his watch. So if you're going to talk about your character, Jim, let's really talk about it. Yeah. Let's not talk about stories about Arnold Palmer. Let's talk about the reality of leadership and the lack thereof from Kamala so you, Harris and Joe Biden. This is why Donald it, Trump's going to be the next president of the United States. I mean, do you find it entertaining when he's making these kinds of comments? Uh, I mean, is that something you want kids to hear? Jim, what I want is a president who's going to do the job of commander in chief. What I want is a president who's going to follow the law and execute the law, not run around the law like Kamala Harris and Joe Biden have done. I want a president that's going to make sure that, yes, we are energy dominant on the world stage, that the American people have jobs where they can actually get ahead in life. That's what I want in a president. And quite frankly, that's what the majority of our country wants in a president. You could talk about stories about Arnold Palmer all you want, but that does not matter when people got to put food on the table. That's stuff for your show. It might be good for your show. It's not good for the American people. Well, I'm just asking, Congressman, because, I, you know, a president of the United States is, is a role model. Uh, and I, is that is that the behavior of a role model, would you say? Talking about... Um, Arnold Listen, Palmer are talking about Democrats as being the enemy from within. Is, is that a role model? And I will tell you right now, we don't have that now. We do not have success. We have failure. And Kamala Harris is just All a right. new face on the same failure. And that's why she's being rejected by the American people. All right. Uh, Congressman Byron Donald, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. So to come, uh, former President Donald Trump will be meeting with Latino leaders. Uh, coming